Friday night took care of my weekday blues I woke up at breakfast and read the news I'm feeling relaxed, refreshed and renewed But I feel like there's something I'm forgetting to do Hey, uh, Toby, the, uh, show's about to start Oh yeah, it's a Saturday show It's a Saturday show it's a Saturday show. 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 Art. Beautiful day, isn't it, Toby? Breakfast is served, fellas. Bon appetit. This looks good, Fred. You're really coming into your own with your cooking. Thanks, pal. Yeah, Fred, some of the dishes you've made have been top notch. Aw, thanks, big guy. I've been trying real hard to hone my skills. I think I've even gotten better at making human food. That one there is called Toad in the Hole. Where'd you learn to make this one, Fred? I picked that one up from one of my cooking classes. You're taking cooking classes, Fred? Absolutely, Otto. My goal is to be the best frog chef that ever was. An admirable goal, if I do say so myself. Thank you, Otto. So, Fred, what are you going to do with the rest of your day? Well, I wanted to ask you guys a question. Go for it, Fred. Well, there's a girl in my cooking class. Her name is Tasha, and well... Do you like her, Fred? I kind of do, Toby, but I've got a problem. What kind of problem? Oh, it's not a big problem, just kind of a small problem, but it could be a big problem if... Fred, what is it? Well, Tasha said she wanted to go visit an art museum with me. That's great, dude. Yeah, except I don't know very much about art, and I'd like to impress her. Sounds like you do like her, Fred. Toby, be nice. And don't worry, Fred, I have an idea. Let me make a few phone calls, and Toby, you can introduce the word of the day. Well, you heard him, folks. Up next is Kashi and Christopher with the word of the day. Hey, Kashi, how's my portrait coming along? It's coming along fine. Number five paintbrush, please. <laughs> there you go. You must really like art, don't you, Kashi? Number two, please. Oh, yeah, I love all kinds of art. Here you go. You know, Kashi, I can't wait to see my portrait. Yeah, you might be kind of surprised by it. Can I have the pink marker, please? Sure, here you go. All right, girl. <laughs> Kashi, do you like going to museums? I love art museums, especially sculpture. Can I have the scissors, please? Okay, but be careful with these, all right, Kashi? And hey, while you're working, I think we should do the word of the day. And, you know, I have to leave pretty soon to go on an art walk with Big Fred and the rest of the Saturday Show gang. Hey, there you go. Thanks. Do you want to activate Lexi? Oh, sure. Well, let's see what the word of the day is, Kashi. Do you need a hand? <laughs> Do you know what that says? It says abs. That's right. It does say abstract. Do you know what abstract art is? Well, kind of. 
not really. <laughs> abstract art is a kind of representation that some people say is not very realistic looking. Oh. Yeah. That might be a good word for my picture. <laughs> okay. And you know, today's episode is all about art. Hey, are you almost ready to show the painting? Yes, I am almost ready. Wait, I am ready. But first, I think we should do the summer game code, don't you? Okay. Here it is. It's seven letters. It's a word from French. And it means to take a bunch of stuff and usually you glue them all together and you make a brand new piece of art from the collection. Oh, wow. There's a word for that? That's right, and if you think you know the answer, you can go to play.aadl.org for big points. That's right. All right, shall we take a look? Yeah, I'm ready. Great. Wow, Kashi, it's wonderful. I love it, and I think I can see a likeness of myself in there. You know, though, I've got to run because I've got to go join the Saturday Show Art Walk. I'll see you next time. So long. Okay, Fred, to aid you on your quest, I've arranged for you to meet with the gang at this location. Oh, thanks, Otto. Should I bring anything with me? Just a sharp eye, my friend. Do you want us to go with you, Fred? That's okay, Toby. You know I'm a pretty independent fella. And anyways, you guys have the show to host. Yeah, Toby. Big Fred will be A-okay. Sounds good to me. Well, I'm gonna take off my apron and head out. You fellas have a good show. See you soon, Fred. Where'd you send him off to, Otto? He's going to meet up with the gang for an art walk. Ooh, sounds like fun. I hope it is. So, Toby, what do we have next? I thought you'd never ask, bud. Since Fred's going on an art walk and then going to the art museum, I think today's episode should be all about art. And I've got the perfect person to kick us off. Lucy's got an awesome social art project that everyone can do at home. Check it out. this really cool project where I am making these miniature works of art called Artist Trading Cards or ATCs. ATCs were started as a conceptual art project by the Swiss artist M. Vancey Sternemann in 1997. He wanted to create an art project that required people to work together, required collaboration. You can make artist trading cards with any arts or crafts materials that you have around. There are only two rules. First, cards must be two and a half by three and a half inches. This is the same size as a baseball card or a Pokemon card. And you should sign and date your cards on the back. Otherwise, you can do whatever you want. You can trade your finished cards with other ATC makers, or you can just work on building a collection of your own. Have fun. What is it? It's made mostly of wood, but it also has a metal rod and some screws. It can move. 
and it's shaped like a human. What is it? This is gonna be fun, Fred. Art walk! Are you guys ready to go? Let's go see some art! I think I'm ready to go. Let's see what's what. Art walk! <laughs> from Tony Rosenthal, a UM alumnus, and it's one of five in the country, and it's called the Endover, and it's one of my favorite places to meet in public, and it's also spinning and turning. Oh, Christopher, you gotta be careful, man. Let me help you off. Hey, thanks, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, Fred, this is definitely art. Art doesn't have to be a drawing or a painting or a photograph. It can be...
understand this art thing. Thank you so much, everyone. It seems like art is everywhere. You just have to know to look for it. Good luck, Good luck Brad. Brad. Have, have fun, fun at the museum. museum. Thanks. Hi, I'm Anasri. One of my favorite paintings is Vincent Van Gogh's Bedroom in Arles. I love the story behind it and also the fact that Van Gogh loved painting everything around him. In this case, it was his new bedroom in a new town he had just moved to. Van Gogh was so happy and hopeful to be here, so he wanted to make a picture of his new room for his brother. This room is really simple, but Van Gogh painted it using really bright colors to show just how special it was to him. In fact, Van Gogh loved this painting so much that he ended up painting it three different times. Each time just slightly different. So if you look at all three of them at once, it's like playing spot the difference. One of my favorite paintings I've ever made is called Rituals Plants. I wanted to paint something that I really enjoy doing. And for me, that's both painting and working with plants. I had so much fun painting all the many little leaves and all the details in this painting. I hope you like it. Hi, my favorite artist is Romer Bearden. My favorite piece by him is called The Conversation. The favorite piece that I've made is called She of Tranquility. Let's take a drum break. Now this drum break takes time and patience, but if you stick with it, you'll have a very cool optical illusion at the end. You'll need a hard surface, a piece of paper, and a pencil. Fold that sheet of paper in half. Then, draw a gentle curving line across the middle of it. Really make sure the curves are gentle and not too steep. Next, draw eight dots along this line, spaced at all different distances from each other. Now draw bumps to connect each of these dots along the top and along the bottom. Great. Now pick one of these bumps, it doesn't need to be this one, and camp out on it. Start and end at the same two dots and keep drawing bumps extending out from them. As the bumps grow bigger and bigger, you'll notice that the sides grow darker and darker as you travel the same path back up and back down again and again. Now these bumps might balloon out a little bit or start to wobble off to one side. That's great. Okay, now grab a scrap sheet of paper and slip it underneath your drawing page. Continue to draw those bumps right off the edge of the page, like this. Perfect. Now pick a new bump somewhere else on the page and camp out there. Pretty soon you'll notice that in some places you only have space to cram in a few extra bumps. That's okay too. Some bumps balloon out and others get pinched off. Wherever you can, extend your drawing right off the page. Pretty soon you have yourself a wild and crazy design. Cool, huh? Now you can keep your optical illusion as is, or you can add shadow or colors to make it really pop. Thanks for taking a draw break with me. I've always loved art philosophy. For example, what is art? Are we art? Is art art? Um, a shark? You have a phone call. It's art. Um. Hey, Kashi! Hi, Sally! I've got a joke for you! Okay! What does Salvador Dali have for breakfast? What does Salvador Dali have for breakfast? I don't know. A bowl of cereal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Katie, I got a joke for you. Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Art. 
R2 D2. Ha! <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, funny. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. What is it? It's a wooden mannequin. Artists use these to help them draw the human figure. They can be posed all different sorts of ways. A mannequin. Otto, did Fred make it back from his art walk? He sure did, Toby. He's getting ready for his museum visit. Tasha is going to be here any minute. Ooh, Fred and Tasha sitting. Toby. What? Be professional. Okay. Was that the door? I'll get it. It's probably for me. Tasha. Hi Fred, you're looking dapper today. Oh, thanks. You're looking nice as well. Thank you, Fred. Well, are you all ready to visit the Fart Museum? Did you, uh, did you, uh, say we're going to the Fart Museum? <laughs> Fred, don't worry. I was just kidding. There's no such thing as a Fart Museum. I like her, Otto. Oh, uh, good. So, the art museum then? Absolutely. I can't wait to go. All right, fellas. I'm off. I'll see you later. Bye, Fred. Bye, Tasha. Have fun. Mm -hmm.